Okay, angles of triangles. Um, new vocabulary. Well, really, the only one that you were interested in this time is auxiliary line. Okay, now an auxiliary line is any line that you put in that is parallel with one side of the previous of the uh, triangle that you're working on. Okay, auxiliary line. We'll come up to uh, exterior and remote interior angles in a few minutes. So now we're doing the triangle angle sum theory. While you know and you have known for quite a while now that all three angles added together must equal 180 degrees. Okay, now also in the diagram, this is your auxiliary line, a line that's been added into the triangle to make parallel lines. As you can see now, we've got the, di uh, the notation for parallel lines. The moment you see parallel lines, now you can start looking at uh, your linear pairs, your uh, alternate interior angles, your same side, you know, your uh, consecutive angles, etc., etc. So look for adding a parallel line to one of your sides. Okay, and as you can see in this um, triangle angle sum theory, you're making proofs. Again, this is quite a long one. You won't have these basically in any air exams. Um, or you will have just part of it missing. So, uh, but here is a proof, have a look at it, see all the things that uh, they're doing in the textbook, which you will need to do similar things as you go through each part of this, this uh, exercise. So let's have a look at this diagram. Um, for a start, here you see, you know that you've got vertical angles, so angle two must also be 78. So you can easily find angle 1 by 78, add 61 and subtract it from 180. Similarly, for your triangle ABC, 180 take away the sum of 20 plus 78. You can come up with whatever the answers are for angle 3 and angle 1. Okay, so here's question number 1, going back to what you've done. Let's have a look at question number 1. You've got this triangle with 63 and 59. Well, you know you've got a sum of 180. And you're going to minus from that uh, your 63 plus 59. So 63 and 59 is 122. So 180 subtract the 122. You are finished with 58 degrees. Simple, easy, but yes, as you can see, this is question number one. They do get slightly more difficult as you're going on. See what you can do. Okay, how does this work? The exterior angle theorem. Well, let's have a look. We're looking at angle four and how that links in with angle one and three. Well, we know that angle two and angle four are a linear pair supplementary, so angle four... Uh, whatever the value is at angle 4, you subtract that away from 180, you get angle 2. Well, angle 1 and 3, if you add these two together, must equal whatever angle 4 is. Because angle 2 is going to be the same, whether it's a linear pair, or in this case, the angle sum theorem, both of them are 180 degrees. So if you go back to the theorem, angle A and angle B, which is this guy and this guy, if you add those two guys together, it must equal whatever angle one is, the angle theorem. Okay, you've always done flow charts, and again, this is your proof with your angle flow chart. So, you know, whatever you are given is always what you're gonna start with, and whatever you need to find must always be the conclusion uh, working either way, it doesn't matter, you will still get back from ABC, triangle ABC, right down to the angle A and angle B must be equal to angle 1. So here's example 2, and we know that these two angles added together must equal this guy. Well, here's a bit of basic algebra to go for it. Uh, so x plus 50 must equal because they are the same it's you putting the expression together to make an egg, uh, an equation solve for x okay and be careful because it's not always going to be x sometimes it's going to be 2x 3x 4x etc or 2x minus 5 make sure once you've got x you check the question whether it needs the value of x or whether you've got to plug it back in again so let's have a look at it question number three okay you know that angle two plus 32 degrees must equal 112 
Okay, substitute, uh, subtract away, so angle 2 will equal 112, subtract 32. Okay, so angle 2 must equal, according to what we've got here, 80 degrees. Okay, so example 3, look for uh, information. Um, well, you know this guy here, uh, which is TZY, is 90 degrees, that's this guy here, okay? And you know that angle 1 plus 52 degrees must equal 90 because obviously you've got 180 degrees, subtract your 90 degrees. So angle 1 and 52 must equal 90 degrees. Solving, uh, angle 1 in this case is 38. Keep it simple, do the math. Okay, so here's question number five. What do we know with question number five? Well, we know that angle one must equal angle three plus angle four by the definition. Okay, so we know that angle one is 102 and that must equal 53 plus angle four. So all we're doing now is subtracting 53 from 102 and we will finish up with angle 4 equals, what, 49 degrees?